Hello YouTube. I want to talk to you about FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency. I'm going to sound like a conspiracy theorist, which I'm not. I just want to show you how all these things make me think and then I'm going to ask you how it makes you think. And I would really like for you to tell me if you have any other interpretations of what's going on with FEMA. So I would really like you to just watch the video and then comment on what you think and what your interpretations are. First I want to talk to you about the FEMA coffins. The FEMA coffins have been mass produced lately and I wonder what they are made for. They seem to be able to fit more than one body and I've also heard them being called FEMA coffin liners. Coffin liners are made to keep coffins inside and keep people who have died from something like a disease, like a plague, keep everything shut inside so keep it from spreading. I just wonder why have they created and mass produced so many. Now one of the arguments I've heard is that they are cheaper to produce, mass produce and storage away than to just produce them. But what do they really need this many for? Which leads me to talk to you about the swine flu. Now I haven't said anything about the swine flu so far and I'm not going to either. Enough people are talking to you about whether or not you should take the vaccine. And all these theories, I'm not going to talk to you about them. I'm not a doctor, I don't know. What I can say is that I find it quite suspicious that we have the swine flu in this time of uprising. Uprising because of people losing their jobs, people wanting to coop their governments many places in the world. And then you have all of a sudden the swine flu. Now what the swine flu is, or is presented as, is a pandemic. Is this why they have mass produced all these coffins and how could they know about the swine flu and start creating these coffins way before the swine flu broke out? And then you have the FEMA camps. The FEMA camps looks more like concentration camps or prisons if I may. They have barbed wire all around and they look like they're meant to keep people inside. You can see videos on YouTube that are made with Google Earth that have located how many concentration camps there is all around the United States of America. I wonder when will they ever need to put away and lock away so many million people and why? What are the events that can happen for American government to want to keep so many million people inside of these FEMA camps? Which leads me over to the FEMA trains. The FEMA trains actually go straight into the FEMA camps. They are huge. They have ventilation on top. They have huge rooms and they can remind about the Auschwitz trains from Nazi Germany from the World War II. The fact that they are linked directly with the FEMA camps just makes me even more suspicious. You also have the FEMA evacuation bus that looks more like a refrigerator, if anything. I wonder what this particular bus is going to be for. If you know what these buses or these trains are for, then please comment. The American military is training for martial law, which also brings me over to the FEMA trucks. They look very, very aggressive. These are bulletproof cars with machine guns coming out of the top of their roof behind bulletproof shields. Now, these trucks look like they're designed to kill as many as possible, as quickly as possible. Which leads me to think about the times that are ahead in America. Are the FEMA trucks and the FEMA coffins and the FEMA buses and the FEMA trains? Are all these FEMA cans here in case of martial law? Seeing as the military is already training for martial law, preparing for martial law, I wonder if this is not a way for the American government 
to be able to stash away as many people as possible who are a part of the uprising in America, for a free America, for an America who will not accept their guns being taken away from them, an America who will not accept losing their jobs, people that will be rioting in the streets, armed and unarmed. Are this what these things are here for? Is this what America is afraid of? The American uprising. There has been a lot of coups in different governments around the world lately. Is that what the American government is afraid of? Is this what they are preparing for? I would really like you to comment. I would really like you to tell me what your interpretation of these things are. And I would really, really like you to follow the links and to check it out if you haven't already done it. These things are very important and we should start thinking about what we can do about this. I have to add, I have never seen anything like this in Europe and we are a lot of people in Europe. There have been uprisings in Europe, in France, Moldova, etc, etc. But I still haven't seen anything like this in Europe. So I'm wondering, what are America preparing for? This is the Baby G. See you later.